I don't want it to feel like we got, you know, a, a, a contemporary aged Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right. And we should also just take the pain if that can't be done. If it's never going to feel realistic, a, because yeah. I don't want, it can't bump the movie. It can't be like a giggle. It's got to be like a great moment. In this film, we bring to life a digital version of Arnold Schwarzenegger as he was in Terminator 1 and have him fight Christian Bale. It was a great help to have a body double in for the for our T-800. You know, that way you have all of the eye lines and you have them really interacting with something as they're fighting. Okay, a couple of shadowy shots. We want to get the hint that it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then we start filming it and we, she's like, okay, he starts going in for close-ups on the guy that's playing the body of the T-800 and says, you know, Ben, I really want to challenge you with this. You know, we're going to be right in the face. You guys are going to have to bring your best game for this. So I challenged ILM, Ben Snow in particular, what can you do to create an early 80s Arnold Schwarzenegger photorealistically appearing in our film in 2009? Like, OK, this isn't what we signed on for, but it's fantastically exciting. So yeah, OK. <laughs> A bodybuilder acted the role, and then we had to replace various parts of him with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So for our digital Arnold, we started with a live cast that Stan Winston and his group did during Terminator 1. It was a really good foundation to start off on because we didn't have anything uh, physically that was usable to recreate Arnold from that era. We had to use new skin technologies to make his skin look real. We developed hair materials and shaders to make his hair look real. You know, lots and lots of hand tweaking. Every little angle, you notice something different. It's, you know, his upper lip is too big, it's too small, his, why is his eye so squinty? And it's just hundreds and, you know, of iterations of sort of noodling to get the, the likeness from every angle. At one point we had a conference call with Stan Winston Studio. One of the first things they said was, well, of course, with all the makeup, you know, they'd cover him in KY jelly. Yeah, that's why he looks so shiny. Then the other thing they'd say was, one of the major things we were missing was that as soon as he went into character, he would clench his jaw, which made him look very different. It was things like that where it was just, it was invaluable to do the archaeology. It's even hard for me to tell where they blended it, but they're, they're blending in our CG chess with his upper torso. The team at ILM has really pulled together to produce this digital Arnie. It wasn't a clear-cut process. It's one that has involved all the different departments. And at the end of it, I think we've produced something amazing. We're all here because of the great thing Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jim Cameron put together in those pictures. It just felt like the proper thing to do, to tip the cap, respect the fan base, and give back a little bit. So creatively, we didn't know if we were going to use a CG Arnold or just go an alternative route. So this is one of those other plans that we had um, where we came up from John Connor shooting his chest to what would continue up into an endoskeleton skull. 